Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this lecture, we are talking about critical damping constant and damping ratio. So this is the solution we derived in the last lecture, right? So this is the governing equation and this is the solution for free vibration of viscously damped system. So here we'll talk about the critical damping. So if we define the critical damping, then the critical damping C, which is designated by CC, is defined as the value of C, C for which the radical in this equation, radical means we are talking about this term, we are talking about this term, radical in this equation becomes zero. So that particular value of C is known as CC. So if this becomes zero, then we are, it means we are saying that C by two M whole square minus K by M is equal to zero for the value of C, then this C becomes CC or we can write CC over two M square root is equal to k by m and from here we can write c by cc by 2m is equal to under root k by m right so from here we can find out the value of cc so this becomes 2m under root k by m and as we know that this under root k by m is omega n so this becomes 2m omega n right so, or we can write, if we simplify this, then this also can be written as two under root K M, right? So this is the formula for critical damping. So critical damping constant CC is given by two under root K M or two M omega N, right? So this is the critical damping constant. Now we'll talk about the damping ratio. So the damping ratio zeta, so damping ratio, which is designated by zeta is defined as the ratio of damping constant C C to the critical damping constant CC. So zeta equals to, this is the ratio of C to the CC. So this is zeta. So here in this equation, the C by 2M here, C by 2M can be written as C by CC multiplied by CC by 2M, right? So we just multiply by CC and divide by CC to this term. So this C by CC becomes zeta, right? So this is zeta. And CC over 2M, this becomes, so here, cc over 2m so cc as we know that this is 2 under root km and this is 2m so 2 will get cancelled out and this under root km so if we multiply it by under root m here and under root m here then this under root m and under, under root m will get cancelled out with this m this becomes under root k by m so this term can be written as omega n, right? So this is omega n. So we can say C by 2m can be written as zeta omega n, right? So here in S1 and S2, these were two roots of auxiliary equation that was C by 2m 
प्लस माइनस सी बाय टू एम होल स्क्वायर माइनस के बाय एम राइट सो इफ वी राइट दिस रूट्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ जीटा देन एस वी नो दैट सी बाय टू एम इज जीटा ओमेगा एन सो एस वन एंड एस टू बिकम्स एट द प्लेस ऑफ सी बाय टू एम वी कैन राइट जीटा ओमेगा एन सो दिस इज माइनस जीटा ओमेगा एन प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ जीटा ओमेगा एन होल स्क्वायर एंड एज वी नो दैट के बाई एम इज ओमेगा एन स्क्वायर सो दिस इज ओमेगा एन स्क्वायर राइट सो इफ वी टेक द ओमेगा एन आउट देन दिस बिकम्स माइनस जीटा प्लस माइनस जीटा स्क्वायर माइनस वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ओमेगा एन सो दीज आर टू रूट्स सो दिस सोल्यूशन also can be written in the form of zeta so our solution was xt is equal to this is the solution right so this solution now we will write in the form of zeta so this is a1 e raised to power minus c by 2m plus square root of c by 2m whole square minus km multiplied by t plus a2 e raised to the power minus c by 2m minus square root of c by 2m whole square minus k by m multiplied by t so in the form of zeta we can write these are two roots so this is a1 e raised to the power minus zeta plus zeta square minus 1 multiplied by omega and t Plus a two e raised to the power minus zeta minus zeta square minus one and multiplied by omega n t. So this is the solution in form of damping ratio zeta. Right. So in this lecture we talked about the critical damping constant C C and which is two under root K M or two M omega N and damping ratio. Which is zeta, which is the ratio of C to C C, right? And we represented the solution in form of zeta. So in the next lecture, we'll talk about the three cases that depends on the value of zeta. If zeta is less than one, or zeta equals to one, or zeta is greater than one. So we'll talk about the underdamped system, critical damped system, and overdamped system. So thank you.